Originally, our competencies were derived from the common core. And we have since uh, essentially thrown those out um, for two reasons. One, they only sort of existed behind the scenes. They were only kind of, only teachers really understood the complex language of the common core. And then two, we found that, the, that a standard lives in exactly the wrong place between not, not being vague enough to be an organizing principle and not being specific enough to be curriculum. So you always had to take a standard and do something to it, usually drill down to make curriculum. And in a place that even drew an arbitrary line and said, this is where we're gonna draw the line for this particular piece of curriculum, even in one place, one teacher would drill to here, one teacher to here, one teacher to here, one teacher to here. So standard wasn't by definition standard. We formed a team to, uh, to launch sort of new, uh, new competencies. And so now uh, they live at sort of the organizing principle level, which are sort of published to students, analyze, evaluate, you know, these, the, the, the kinds of things that a, a single word um, that, that are student friendly. And then once you get into the competencies, they break down into subskills, which are at the level of the objective, which is to say something I could teach and assess in a given day or in a given project. Okay, so which competency, what's the name of the competency up at the top that we had here? It's a fly. Okay. And which subskill, so yesterday we did this one together, right? Yes. Okay. Talk to me about what those are about. How do you change or add, or what did you what did you put in it? It's different than it was the other day. Mm. Well, I basically wrote what, what was I doing in the challenge. I gave more details and it was more specific. So they're interdisciplinary. Uh, they're interdisciplinary competencies, and uh, they're tied directly to our rubrics which are um, interdisciplinary competencies. So that's a standard rubrics throughout the, throughout the curriculum. And then each specific task or challenge gets uh, specific to that challenge and to that content, uh, specific indicators, like kind of a checklist of this is how I know I've demonstrated this at this level.